folks, Bill McClure, field agronomist for Pioneer Hybrid here in East Central Nebraska, and I am with... Beck and Ortrip, crop protection specialist for Corteva. So Beck and I wanted to talk to you today for just a few minutes about timing fungicide applications to your corn crop. We are in the time of year where that is an important decision to be made. There's things that come into play in terms of making the right decision. Um, and part of that would come around the timing to the crop. And uh, another thing I think is important is understand hybrid responsiveness. When you think about timing, the crop behind me here, the corn crop here, is probably a week to maybe two weeks away from tasseling. If there was one time to spray your crop, your corn crop, and make uh, the biggest bang for your hard-earned dollar would be in that VT stage to early brown silk. So we've got a couple weeks here on this field to maybe think about it, but there are other fields in the area I know that are getting very close and making that decision is going to be important to time it uh, effectively for that one, one time operation. Understanding hybrid responsiveness also is important. Uh, talking to your Pioneer sales rep, we have put together a sheet that talks about the differences of how hybrids respond to foliar fungicide applications. Uh, no question, no hybrid is created equal, so there are going to be differences and some hybrids will respond uh, more so than others with the disease package they have. Ultimately though, if the disease pressure is heavy enough and you've identified it in your field, uh, all hybrids will show a pretty darn good uh, bang for the buck when you, when you spray it uh, accordingly. And speaking about bang for the buck and return on investment, maybe Beck, I'll have you talk about that for a minute. Absolutely. When it comes to applying fungicides, timing is really critical. I like to use the phrase that uh, you might've heard before that early is on time and on time is late. And that holds especially true when it comes to our fungicide applications. That's because fungicides work best before that disease is actually visible and present. Once you start to see those visual lesions on, on a leaf tissue, uh, we can't bring those cell tissues back to life. The fungicide stops that infection before it's visually present. So getting on the front end of that disease and applying it before you have widespread disease pressure in your field really will get the best return on investment for that fungicide dollar. So again, early is also key. And we also talk about early applications. If they're going on before tasseling time frame, you've got to be very careful about what else goes with that fungicide in that tank mix. There are some products that can be very detrimental to ear development as it's a very sensitive time uh, as that ear is developing. So you want to make sure that everything that goes with your fungicide is an approved tank mix and is uh, not going to keep that corn plant safe through that time frame. So make sure to talk with your, with your crop protection specialist to make sure that all those tank mix partners are going to be beneficial for that corn plant long term. I think that really comes down to using fungicides they are going to do you a nice job of maintaining plant health late in the season. That's important. Alleviating stress, that's important. It all comes into making yield in the end. And I think uh, most growers have understood that it does show a nice response when timed correctly. So make sure you talk to your local Pioneer sales rep or your Corteva crop protection specialist for more information on it. They'll help you uh, through the process. And Bill, don't forget, if you have Corteva cash out there, that uh, hard-earned money you got from your Pioneer Seed purchase, this is a great opportunity to try Corteva's Approach Prima, our fungicide. It's a two-mode of action product with best-in-class movement properties to really get the maximizing every bit of that fungicide that hits your crop's canopy. So make sure to use your Corteva cash for that product if you haven't spent it already, and talk with your local crop protection specialist for information on that. Perfect. Thanks, everybody. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.